Russian army is making gains in the east of Ukraine. Russian troops have advanced to Okoretny, Berdichev settlements in the direction of Avdiivska city in eastern Donetsk region, Deep State Telegram channel reported. Russians also advanced to Staromayorsky settlement near Vuldar and Krasnoharivka cities near Marinka in Donetsk region, the channel reported. Russia's advances on the front line have caused concerns among Ukraine's allies as well. Yesterday Pentagon warned of Russia's gains on the front line. In a presser on Monday, Pentagon Press Secretary Pat Ryder said the situation was dire in Ukraine. You've got Russian forces that are making some gains on the front line. And it's absolutely essential that we get Ukraine what they need to include air defense capabilities so that they can check Russian aggression, defend their territory, and ultimately, take back their sovereign territory. So we're going to continue to work very hard towards that end, Ryder said. The Pentagon official said it was important that the Congress pass the supplemental to ensure Ukraine gets the volume and level of support that they need to sustain the fight. Last week, Mikhailo Podolyak, a senior advisor to Volodymyr Zelensky said that Ukraine was running out of critical munitions and was urgently seeking help from its allies to tackle threat from Russia. He said the situation on the front line was critical as Russia was adopting new tactics of attacking power stations with up to 10 or 12 missiles at a time, bypassing already stretched Patriot and other missile shields. Trump Biden abandoned Israel and allowed Iranian attack. US President Joe Biden bears part of the blame for Iran's massive drone and missile strike on Israel. Former US President and current Republican frontrunner for the November race, Donald Trump has claimed. The GOP firebrand suggested that a lack of leadership on the part of the Democratic incumbent has emboldened Tehran. Addressing supporters in Schnecksville, Pennsylvania, Trump said that the Iranian strikes took place because we show great weakness. The weakness that we've shown is unbelievable, and it would not have happened if we were in office, he suggested. He concluded by reiterating his absolute support for Israel. Trump has also posted several similar messages on his Truth social platform, such as one saying, This should never have been allowed to happen. This would never have happened if I were president. Trump has previously accused his Democratic rival of not being assertive enough globally and has repeatedly alleged that Biden is unfit for office. A great supporter of Israel, Trump, during his time in office, recognized Syria's Golan Heights, which have been occupied for decades as Israeli territory. He also officially recognized Jerusalem as Israel's capital and moved the U.S. Embassy there from Tel Aviv in 2018. Speaking in Atlanta, he told reporters that President Biden had abandoned Israel. Although continuing to support Israel, Biden has of late been increasingly critical of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, citing the mounting civilian casualties in Gaza amid Israel's ongoing military campaign against Hamas. In an interview to MSNBC last month, Biden suggested that the Israeli Prime Minister was committing a big mistake with his hardline approach. Biden pointed out, however, that Washington was never going to leave Israel and would keep providing it with weaponry no matter what. Russian Empire should grow to encompass three US states, Finland, Poland, Russian political scientist. In a recent appearance on Russia's state-run television, Russian political scientist Sergei Mikheyev suggested that the country's empire should grow to encompass three American states. According to Newsweek, the clip of the remarks began to circulate on social media when it was shared by Anton Gerashchenko, an outspoken critic of Russia and a former advisor to Ukraine's Minister of Internal Affairs to X. In it, Mikheyev mentioned the territory he would like to see taken over by Russia, including three of the westernmost American states and two North Atlantic Treaty Organization member nations in Europe. I want to see the Russian Empire with Alaska, Hawaii, California, Finland and Poland, he said, as translated by Gerashchenko for the clip he shared. Although Poland and Finland are so stinky, I'm not sure, to be honest. We'll clean them. Near the end of the clip, the host of the program was quick to deflate Mikheyev's comment as wishful thinking divorced from actual politics. Yes, but again, wishful thinking is one thing and actual politics is another, the host said. Gerashchenko, meanwhile, was less keen to write off the political scientists' comments as fantasy. Russian propagandists dream about the new world order, Gerashchenko wrote. And you know what? They mean it. 
the territory now known as Alaska was colonized by Russia prior to its purchase by the United States in 1867 for the modern equivalent of around $152 million. In the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022 and its heightened rhetoric about attempting to annex other countries and territories, suggestions about retaking Alaska from the US have become prevalent. In a December post to social media, also translated by Gerashchenko, Russian lawmaker Sergei Mironov suggested that US oversight was weakening and alluded to Alaska while discussing land that could be taken from it. Did you want a new world order? Here we go, he wrote. Venezuela is annexing its 24th state, Guyana Esequibo. This is happening right under the nose of the once great hegemon, USA. All that's left is for Mexico to take back Texas and the rest of the territories. It's time for Americans to think about their future and also about Alaska.